Carol Dominey and I work for the Community Neurological Rehabilitation Service or CNRS. Over the last couple of weeks we've been trialling different ways of providing therapy and that's through FaceTime or WhatsApp. We're taking it case by case with the patients who would benefit from regular social communication. This is enabling us to provide support reducing the risk to the patients the patient is initially contacted by a qualified member of staff who can run through with them what their goals are and what they wish to achieve. We have a variety of speech and language therapy tools which assists us in building confidence and fluency. These can be worked on jointly where we can send a copy to the patient and we can work on them together or we can be working singly with me at the end going through with the apps on the FaceTime working from, from home. I've also discussed with patients what their interests and hobbies are and at this time of isolation a lot of people are watching television so we've been discussing what their favourite television programmes are. One in particular is I've been discussing You on Netflix. We've also managed to undertake physiotherapy and occupational therapy sessions where my patients have placed the iPad on a windowsill or on a chair next to them where I'm able to see what they're doing and follow their exercises. This morning we did a kitchen assessment where the patient made some tea and toast and she put me on the windowsill. I was able to see everything she was doing whilst we were talking back and forth as well having discussion and her telling me what she was carrying on with. The same patient again went back to the room and did circuits around the lounge in a for a physiotherapy including squats at the windowsill, came back to her chair and then could include me back into the conversation when she returns back and sitting down. This has been a voyage of self-discovery as it's been a very, very different way of working and there's been some trial and errors along the way, but hopefully some fun too. I found that I need to prepare everything so that I help the session flow beforehand. And I'm also asking for feedback at the end of each session um, just to see how things are going and how everybody's finding it from the patient perspective as well as from my own. I'm also hoping to get feedback at the end of the whole sessions, a number of sessions, so that I can actually reflect on my future practice. We are hoping that this method of intervention can be used as part of our therapy toolkit after the pandemic is over, as it is such a useful tool. Take care and keep safe.